actually, I started in my hometown, Grand Island, just playing uh, youth soccer, um, like a travel league, house league, where you know anybody can play. Um, and I got into being a goalkeeper. My older brother was a goalkeeper uh, for me, and you know, watching his games is kind of what inspired me to get in there. And you know, there's never really much of a place for me on on the field, and I kind of found my niche in the goal. So you know, that's what I stuck with. I played basketball and lacrosse. Uh, in high school, I played lacrosse my whole life. Um, you know, I love that sport and I love basketball as well. Um, but other than that, just uh, my main focus was soccer. I had the opportunity to come here and you know play with the guys that I have known for a few years now, coming down and visiting, and, and it just seemed like the right the right move. Everything just kind of fell into place, and you know there, it would have been silly of me not to take the chance. Uh, night and day compared to what we had last year. I mean, the grass was terrible, but it had you know a few positives for us because it was our home field and you know, we were at a huge advantage when playing on it. So you know we lose that with the artificial, but for the game we want to play right now, it's the best thing for us. We want to try and possess it, and the field that's going to give us that ability is what we're on now, the artificial stuff. Um, I would say the biggest challenge in the goal is your mental ability to stay switched on the whole game. You know, to always be focused, even if it's a game that's the ball's in your end the whole time and you're constantly doing things. But the hardest part is when the ball's not in your end. And you know, you're dominating the game and you have to be mentally focused that whole time because there could be that one shot that you need to be ready for. Um, so from that standpoint, the biggest thing is, you know, your mental ability to just be there 100% all the time and to not get down when things are going down, you know, your team will look to you to make a big save and to take care of a situation and really get people going. You know, the, the worst thing we can do in the goal is put our heads down after a goal because then that just goes straight to, you know, sends a terrible message to everybody else on the team that you know, uh, we did something wrong, you know, our heads are down, then it's inevitable that the other guy's heads will be down. So from us, it's just to be a positive reinforcement back there all the time, no matter what's going on in the game. Right now, it's you know we have a lot of good young players. It's just we got to find not so much they don't know what they're doing or they're inexperienced. It's just we need to find our our niche. We you know, we got a whole new team from last year, and we got a new personnel in front of us. And we just need to figure out you know how each other play, and that's our biggest challenge right now. It's just finding our kind of our, our rhythm. Right now, I just I'm trying to get through the season and see you know if I end up. With the chance after the season, yeah, that'd be that'd be great. I would definitely pursue it. But right now, my biggest concern is just graduate on time and um, get my degree. Like you said, I'm doing history. I like to get a master's in education. You know, teach either. Uh, I love teaching younger kids, or if I could do high school, that would be ideal. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to get through where we're at right now. I think we have a good chance to do well this year, and I'm, I'm very excited. And the guys are very excited about what we can maybe do this year.